Welcome to Burr and Beer, where we'll be discussing part of the Burr strategy over a glass of refreshing beer. My name is CJ Collio with WNM Properties. Today we are at Kapalina in Eva Beach. The topic we'll be discussing today is general contractor. What I found is having a general contractor on team is very important to the success of the Burr strategy. Today with me is Danny Snyder with Shaka Construction. He is the owner and the licensed general contractor. So Danny, what is a general contractor? A uh, general contractor is someone who's licensed in the state, um, carries uh, an A, B, or C license. Um, they've passed specific testing requirements that the state requires or the county requires. Uh, you carry the required insurances um, and all the uh, proper paperwork to be a licensed contractor. Awesome. Yeah. I like that answer because it, it ensures me that somebody is licensed and insured to do the work. So what would an investor look for in a general contractor? Um, you want to look for someone who's qualified in the scope of work that you need, um, whether it's you know investment for a new build or investment for a, a rehab. You want to make sure that person has uh, experience and you know a qualified team to perform the, the scope of work that you want done. Is there a minimum type of rehab that is required before GC would take you on as a client? Um, I believe in the state it's $1,000. And now outside of that, if it was under $1,000, what are some options people could use? Um, an option could be a handyman. Um, handyman would perform small you know, repairs um, or things that don't require a, a licensed contractor. Awesome. So what I get, get away from this is the type of level of rehab you're looking for will determine on who the team member is that you'll be hiring out. Thank you, Danny, for your valuable insights. Thank you. Now to the beer. Susan, what we got today? Hey, guys. All right, what we got here today is a German Pilsner. Uh, if you were to smell it, you're going to smell some grain and some barley with a hot fragrance. And if you were to drink it, which we will, you're going to have a slight kick in the throat as it's going down. There you go. Thank you, Susan. Please stay tuned for the next episode of Burn Beer. Until then, to the burn! To the burn. <laughs>